Welcome to Crossians. In this video, we are going to do a split shank. First of all, let's activate on the snap in the bar below and check the boxes perpendicular, mid, and vertex. Also, activate the grid snap and the gumball if you don't have it activated. So, we are going to add a GM and we are going to set the size to 5.5. Now the idea is to add two offsets of the gem to draw lines where we can make the curve. So let's create the offset. We select offset, we select the gem, and we select the horizontal offset to 0 0.0.60 and the vertical offset 0 0.10. We confirm, we press right click, it repeats the last command, we select the gem, and we select the horizontal offset 0.10 and the vertical 0.50. We confirm. Once we have the offsets, we open the curves panel and create a polyline from this vertex to the perpendiculars of the offset. We select this and this other. We press enter and we right click and we do the same to the other side. Now we go to the right view and we are going to select line from the curve panel. We select the intersection of the lines and the stretch all the way down. up to here. We are going to do the same to the other side. We right click and repeat the same line. We right click and we make a horizontal line to join them. We press OK. Finally, we select the intersection from the grid and from bottom to top we create a line. So here we have our guide to generate the curves. We click on create curve and mark the next vertices and points. Now we can select the guide that we have created. Rob it and hide it because we will not need it anymore. So we press shift key and select all the lines of our guide. Now we open the edit panel and we will select rob and hide. Now from the front view we are going to select these two points by pressing the shift button and we are going to reduce them by dragging the red point of the gumball. We are going to move it one section to the right and then draw one section up. Finally, we take the bottom dot and drag it down one section. Remember to have the gumball active. Now we have our guide ready, so we hide the gem offsets. From the gems panel, let's create a gem on ring. Set the gem size to 5.5 and the diameter to 7.5. Confirm. Now we go to copy to gems and select our curve that we made earlier. Select the reference gem and the target gem. So we accept and repeat the process as we will need two curves later. We hide the gem and the original curve we use for the mold. To hide the curve, 
we will go to the edit panel and click on hide. Next, we will create a ring rail to join the curve to the ring shape. We'll create a ring rail. We indicate self so that it doesn't affect the main structure and we select the opening that we want. In this case, 1750 and we confirm. We go to the left side and move three sections to the left. Now, go to the Curves panel and select Blend Curve. And select the two curves we are going to join. In the Head section, select Tangency and in the Ring section, select Curvature. We need to flip the second curve. We go to the view from the right and move the origin point to the intersection with the side of the gem. We can take the curvature and blend in and shape it to our liking. In this case, I will let it like this. Once we have reached this point, it is time to create the profiles. We are going to select the head curve and we are going to create a profile placer from the tools. We are going to select the profile zero and in the drop down position, we activate the center on rail. We will modify the size to 0 0.90 and the height the same. Now we are going to mirror and we are going to select Y mirror. We confirm. Now left click to repeat the last command and select the curve again. Modify the profile to zero and move the profile by clicking on position. We check the end box on the on the snap bar and this will allow us to place the profile at the end of the curve. We click and press Escape key. We enable the center on rail and modify the size to 1.30. Now we are going to mirror and we are going to select Y mirror. We confirm. Let's create the third profile. Select the open ring rail and move the position to the other side. We will set the profile to shape 9 and change the size of the width to 2.20 and the height 2 millimeters. Then confirm.
We create our last profile by left clicking. Select the centering rail and set the position on rail in the center at 0 0.5. Change the profile to 4 and resize it to 2.2 in both width and height. We confirm and we are going to create a mirror of the side profile by diagonal. We confirm and now with our profiles in place, let's create the auto sweep. Go to tools, click on auto sweep and select the head rail and the profiles we have created. We activate caps in options and add the height of the cap to our liking, in this case 0.15. Right click again, this time we select the connector rail and select the rail profile with the one on the side of the head. As we can see, the sweep is twisted. To fix it, we will select the two head profiles, pressing shift, and we will give the up button to edit them together. Go to the Transforms drop-down and rotate the angle to 170 degrees. Now we are going to create the body of the ring. Select again Auto Sweep and select the center ring rail. Select the side profiles and confirm. And let's create another mirror, this time of the body we have made and the head. We will leave it in horizontal and confirm. The last mirror will be the connector between the ring and the head. So we select the auto sweep and mirror it in horizontal, vertical, and diagonal. We can increase the caps a little bit. So I modify it to 0.35. We confirm. I notice that the low profile is missing. So I'm gonna select the auto sweep with the scroll button to edit. We select the bottom profile and add it. In the next chapter, we will show you how to copy and adapt the steam model to other sizes and shapes easily. We want to remember that this January 20th we'll do a webinar in Spanish with Ikratia. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching. If you find this useful, don't forget to subscribe to support the channel for more content.